Here's what I'm working on today, guys. This is part of the wife's car. Can you see that? Yeah. This right here is supposed to have this sitting right oops, uh, sitting right there. Yeah. Age. Got brittle. That's a map sensor. That's a $72 part. And the reason I know it's a $72 part because right there it is. <laughs> Brand new in the box. Show you what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like that. Instead, we got this. So, I'm still in my PJs having my morning coffee. I get dressed. We'll go out there. Oh, yeah, you don't even want to know it, why this is on the table. <laughs> I'll show you more when we get out there. Anyway, hopefully get this going so she can go to work tomorrow. She's uh, had to take a day off due to this. Because your car won't run without that. Okay. Stay tuned. So I thought I'd give you all a quick how-to and why. You have to excuse the dinging because I'm... Uh, Gonna run these codes. I'll show you why we're leaning toward that, and I'll tell you a little more why. Okay, see that P0107, and it says manifold absolute pressure. A little okay. definition of this: that P0107 manifold absolute pressure. That's what a map sensor is, manifold absolute pressure. But the problem is with these GMs, and I, I hate to say it, I'm a GM guy. And other manufacturers don't do this. In Fords, Dodges, Chrysler, you know, whatever you got, Toyota, Mitsubishi. They either have a MAP sensor or an MAF sensor. This car is always thrown codes repeatedly. You'd have to clean the MAF sensor, the mass air flow sensor. Or uh, as some people call it, manifold airflow, but it's mass airflow sensor. It senses the flow of air coming into the intake. And then the manifold absolute pressure, it's double redundancy in my opinion. Why have both? Why create another problem you don't need? Why just have one or the other? Ford does one or the other. Dodge does one or the other. Toyota, one or the other. So I'm a Chevy guy. Just a couple of thoughts on it. You know, why, why do they got to screw up a good thing? So, we're going to go out here and get this MAP sensor, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, which is broken. I showed you a picture of that. If not, I'll drop it in here. But that's what pointed me to that. She was having problems with it dying and stuff. And, and uh, sure enough, I went to pop it off there, and it was just brittle because they make these things out of plastic. So, anyway, we're going to change that out and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, I'll give you Hang a look on. here. This here goes right in there, like so. Drop down in there and locks. And then this this thing here, the, the map sensor, manifold absolute pressure, as they call it, would go right in the top of this piece here, right there. So that'll all go back in here. I'm gonna set the tripod up. You can watch me do it, and we'll. Let's see if this thing straightens up. Hang tight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this out with carburetor cleaner and then compressed air. So put you guys back over here on the stand and then I'll bring you in close when uh, I get done blowing nastiness around. By the way, this is my improvised adapt and overcome. Stand. So, just get in here where I can make sure I'm focused in where I need to be. And I do it. All right. So, 
Here we go with the rest. I just want to get this cleaned out before I put all this new stuff in here. So, that's what I'm going to do. Make sure there's nothing left in there. I'm not out of spray. Where that O-ring goes, and down in here is our PCV, positive crankcase ventilation. I'm sure most of you know what that is. For the ones that don't, that's what it is, and it's pretty easy to change as well. So, give us one more good blowing out. Bring you guys in now. <laughs> there we go. That ought to be good enough. Now then, let's try this again. Let me get my part. Something I like to do. I got a little bit of straight 30 weight oil. I like to uh, do a little bit of thing. I like to take it, lube up any O rings because I don't want no, I don't want no wrinkled up O rings. So. I'm going to wipe my hands and we'll get that stuck back in there. I think she's locked in but only on one side. There she went. Now we got her. Yeah, just that simple. And then now the same thing with this new part. I'll put just a very light touch of oil on that rubber so it doesn't give any problem going in. I mean that's all it takes. Just dip your finger in there and just see there. Just like that. And then this thing just sets right straight in here. I'm gonna have to get the oil off my hands again, I think. And there it is. Yep, it's in. Down and in. That's it. That's all there is to it. That simple. And you just plug it back up. Okay. Let me, uh, I think I'll wash your hands off and I'll take the camera off the tripod. Well, we're, we're back in the back. car now. Let's see if we can zoom in on this one. There we go. Keys turn to the on position. Codes. They're both identical. Race codes. Yes. Finished. Okay. Let's unplug it. Shut the car off. Key back in. Let's do that one more time. Okay. okay, I'll run it down the road and back and we'll come back and check for codes. Hang tight. There we go. Turning like a kitten. No codes. No more cutting out. Runs great. So, hope that helps somebody out there. Just remember, P0107. It'll either be your map sensor 
for your mass airflow sensor or a vacuum leak. You can always count on that. Thanks for watching.